Hello everyone, in this short video I will talk a little bit about corporate governance which is chapter 2 in strategic management. First of all we have to know what is the meaning of corporation which is basically a mechanism that allow different parties uh, to contribute in the company whether it's in the capital or like expertise. Uh, second, we should understand the meaning of corporate governance. Corporate governance is the relationship between the board of directories, top management, and shareholders. Uh, the, the responsibilities of the board of directors, basically, they, they, they guide or they lead the organization to be successful in terms of a process and input and outputs. Also, they have or they are involved in the strategy. Uh, another responsibility is to look at the overall risk and planning as well as sustainability. What is do care? So basically, do care is, is the, the responsibility or the task of direct, like directors. Director's task is to direct the company or the, or the organization and not to manage. So basically, the, the, the management in the company will consult with the directors or the board of directors and they will just receive some advice or some consultations. Uh, here, the role of board of and then in the strategic management, they monitor, which is development, they evaluate and influence. So they look at the proposals from the management and they make decisions. Also, they initiate and determine, which is related to the strategic options. Here, if we look at the slide, this slide is discussing the board of directors continuum. So basically, uh, the involvement or engagement in the company. The first one is Phantom, which is uh, in the Phantom, they don't know anything about the company. They have no involvement at all. In the second stage, rubber stamp, actually they allow officers to behave on behalf of them. So in this case, the board of directors will assign some officers to work closely with the management in the company. In the minimal review stage, so they just review some issues which are selected by officers. So if the officers uh, ask the board of directors to review some problems or issues, they will just look at those specific issues. And next, in the nominal participation, they have just or they are involved only in some selected decisions as well. So they think there are some areas in the company that need to be evaluated. Then they look at those areas and they just evaluate a few areas. In the active participation, they really go beyond that and they start coming up with decisions, policies and objectives. And the final stage or phase is the catalyst. Here they really lead and manage the organization and they are highly involved in making decisions and plans. Uh, there is like uh, two different com compositions of the board of directors inside and outside. In the inside, there are employees that, that they are working in the company and they can be a part of board of directors. The outside, they are not belong to the company. They just work somewhere else maybe, or they are retired, but they still can be a member in the board of directors. Uh, agency theory. So agency theory here, 
when the top management, they really do not care about their responsibilities unless they have a substantial amount of stock. So if I, if I don't share, if I don't share the owners as a manager, I will not be caring so much about my responsibilities. In the stewardship theory, this is when you have a long run like work or relationship with the company and you, you, you can be identify with the corporation and its success. Uh, here I will just uh, talk about a little bit more about the composition. There is another one type which is affiliated directors. They are not employed, they just deal with some legal or insurance issues. The retired directors, they used to work with the company, they get retired, but they can still part of the directors. Uh, family directors, well, they are relative to the owner and they can be assigned, assigned in the like board of directors. The second topic, which is called like co-determination. Co-determination is when you include the workers in the board of directors. So workers will be able to come up with decisions and plans, and they will be able to contribute with the board of directors. Uh, for co-determination, there are a few types. The first one is direct interlocking directorate. The direct is, is when two firms share the same directors. So for example, I can be director for two different like companies. The indirect interlocking directorate, it is when when two companies, they share same directors, but this director or, or directors will be also working with a third company, which is not related to the first two companies. Uh, interlocking directories, which it is really useful because the, the company will be able to use the director's knowledge and experience to respond to the change or the environmental change. Uh, why individuals serve on a board? Why I'm interested to be part of the board of directors? There are some reasons, for example, interested in business. For I, I like, for example, being part of the educational institutions. So I will be happy to be board of di member in the board of director in, in the university, for example. And make difference. Many people will be happy if they come up with decisions and those de decisions can lead to uh, like success in the market. Stay active in a business community. I already have experience in that area. I need to stay active and work as a like member in the board of directors or recruited by a friend on the board. Uh, my friend works there. He can recruit me. A compensation, and as you see, 14% of the like people in the board of directors just care about the compensation. So mostly those people worked a lot in the industry. They already have like, let's say, or have a good income, but they would like just extra compensation or like money. Networking opportunities. Of course, they deal with many people in the industry, so they will make good relationship with the others. Prestige. And finally, recruit by a friend, not on the board. So my, my friend may be knows someone in the board, so they might, they might like link me to the company and I can be hired as a member on the board of the directories.